Boom! Shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass on 48 days to the work and life you love. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Dan Miller on the mic. He's the author of the New York Times bestselling 48 Days to the Work You Love and an encourager to those seeking to bring their dreams to life. In Fire Nation, today we'll be talking about the importance of having one continuous core message. We'll tackle the question of does every entrepreneur get rich and some ways that you can get traction in a timely manner, Fire Nation. All this and more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Fire Nation, what if you could run an e-commerce business with no tech experience or employees and generate 10K or more each month? Today's sponsor, Quantify, is doing just that. Quantify guarantees your success and revenue with complete end-to-end training and support. Apply for their partner program today at quantify.com. Hiring is challenging, especially with everything else you have to consider today, but there's one place where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. That place is Zip Recruiter. Try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire. Dan, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. Wow. You know, I, I grew up as a really poor farm kid. A lot of people assume that I just came right into this wild and crazy and profitable information space. And I grew up so poor. I remember when we got our first cow, one cow that we milked by hand. And that was my responsibility, you know, from the time I was like six years old till I was about 12. Man, I mean, I've known you now, Dan, for eight years and that time has flown and One thing I can say about you for sure is you've always come across as a very present and grateful person. And I mean, I think it probably traces back a lot to that is that, hey, you can remember a time when, you know, you weren't being able to, you know, move on a a whim from Tennessee to Florida and kind of live the good life and do all these different things with cruises and all this jazz. So congratulations on you for, again, remaining present, for remaining grateful. It's one of the things I've always looked up to you for. And Fire Nation, as you know, today we're talking about 48 days to the work and life that you love because Dan is celebrating his 20th year anniversary of publishing his book, 48 Days to the Work You Love. And I'm excited to chat with him about it. This is now his fourth time on Entrepreneurs on Fire. And every time... It's just such a pleasure to chat with Dan, and we'll go into a lot of details as for why, but I want to kind of start to focus, Dan, with the fact that a lot's changed since you published 48 Days to the Work You Love 20 years ago. So break down some of the biggest changes that's relevant for our listeners, Fire Nation. So you think things have changed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess that's, the, that's the understatement of the day. 20 years ago. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Now, that seems like a blink wow. of an eye, but you better believe it. Now, th- the book itself, I've updated every five years. So the original content, there's about 30% of that original content in there, but, si- but 70% or more has changed because of the application of work. When we think about how many people you know, were working remotely, even before this wild, crazy year came along, but now we're having things like artificial intelligence interviews, where somebody may have three interviews where they're screened for a position that they've never interacted with a human being, because we have the technology to do that really, really well and really consistent, but that freaks people out. The idea of having digital nomads where people can be anywhere in the world and still do fully functional work. Electronic immigrants, another title. People can compete for a job in your hometown when they live completely on the other side of the world. So those things have really changed things up. And we see a lot of people who have gone from the traditional 40-hour work week to other models, consultant, freelancer, independent contractor, all those other terms that describe work that is available. So, so much has changed, especially this year. You talk about ramping things up. (laughs) What an opportunity for entrepreneurs. I mean, we know how to handle this. I mean, my gosh, entrepreneurs eat change for breakfast. We bring it on. I mean, this is when we thrive, when things are unpredictable, not secure. This is when we can show what we're made of. So it's been a lot of t- it's been a time when a lot of people have become entrepreneurs, some of them reluctantly, but some of them experiencing because of circumstances, the freedom that can come from being an entrepreneur. 
Fire Nation, you can't see me now, but I'm just nodding my head because everything that Dan's saying is just so true. And one thing that 2020 has brought to us is a ton of industries that always made the comment for decades of, oh, we we can never have work from home or virtual workers. It could just never happen in our industry. Well, they've been forced to cope. And guess what? And they're actually now seeing, wow, not only did we not think this could happen, well, now A, it's happening, but B, we're getting better results. We're having happier people. They're not commuting. They're not having to struggle through rush hour traffic. They're actually getting stuff done. We're able to communicate through tools like Slack and Zoom and Microsoft Teams and fill in the blanks. So things have changed at quite a rapid rate for the you know, years 2000, and, well, 2000 to 2019. And then 2020 just hit that fast forward button for all the reasons that Dan just talked about. And now people are being forced to look at the fact that, hey, this is just the new world that we live in. And Dan, one thing that I've always admired about you, and back when I launched Entrepreneurs on Fire, you were already crushing the game with 48 Days to the Work You Love, is you were one of the people I looked up to as just having this unbelievably powerful brand. And again, that was eight years ago and it's only grown since then. So you have built this unbelievably powerful and well-known and just really genuine brand with 48 Days to the Work You Love. So what's the most important action that you've taken over the years to accomplish this feat? The thing I've done to really maintain the strong brand and awareness of that is what we're doing here, nurturing relationships. There's nothing that undergirds, it's a foundational piece for being successful over a long period of time as nurturing relationships. You know, you see a lot of people who in our space who have a little success and all of a sudden they're inaccessible. All of a sudden you can't touch them. You know, and they start to burn the relationships that got them where they are. That breaks my heart when I see that. So I, I stay true, I'm a loyal friend and I'm just nurturing those relationships. And the other thing really is to make sure people know what you're all about. When you say 48 days brand, I mean, if you, I'm still known as a career coach primarily. So if you put career coach in a Google search, you're going to get 13, 14 million sites that come up. I'm in there somewhere, but I have no idea where, and I really don't care. You put in 48 days. I own that. I'm going to own the first couple pages, you know, in a Google search, not because of fancy SEO or paid positioning or anything, but because I'm the guy who says, not only can you change your life dramatically, you know, when the kids are grown, when you get another degree, when the mortgage is paid off. No, I'm the guy who says you can change your life dramatically in 48 days if you create a plan and act on it. And I think that's so central. You know, that is my brand. That's what people think of when they hear my name. It's not just Dan Miller. It's 48 days. Wow. That gives people hope that they can see something new on the horizon in a very short period of time. And that's just worked incredibly well for a very, very long time. Dan, I have a belief that when you try to resonate with everybody, you resonate with nobody. And you have this belief in having this one continuous core message. Now, of course, you just kind of touched upon that with, you know, how you own the 48 days name, the brand, you just own really just that kind of mental thought, you know, just like what I've been trying to do over the years with entrepreneurs on fire and kind of owning that and building a brand around Ignite and, you know, all of these different things to do with entrepreneurs being on fire and crushing the world and doing their thing. So, Share with the Fire Nation this belief about this one continuous core message. Why do you believe in it so strongly? And, you know, maybe one or two examples of people who you feel like have really built up a great core message you can share with us. Sure. You know, we, we've seen companies who have gotten very successful. And all of a sudden, in addition to selling cars, you know, they're selling patio furniture you know, and lawn equipment, and they dilute their message, what they're known for, and then struggle as a result of that. We've seen that a lot. We see people who are known for one real clear thing. And then because of some success, they think, well, I got the Midas touch. I'll just jump over here. I'll jump over there. And they get so diluted in what they're doing. We don't know who they are, what they're all about anymore. Now, there are some notable exceptions like Richard Branson, you know, who seems to be able to control a whole lot of different things right. at once. I don't, I don't know how he does it. But for most of us, it really accelerates. I mean, if we think about the field of medicine, If somebody is generalist, anything wrong with you, come in and we'll try to help you with that. They're usually at the bottom of the barrel 
But you talk about a brain surgeon or a cardiologist, they're known for that. And it elevates their reputation and success dramatically. I think if we have one core message, it can do that for us. I mean, my core message from day one has been, let's figure out what your unique passions and talents are. And then let's look at ways that we can apply those on Monday morning to meaningful, purposeful, and profitable work. That's it. Now, I've written, you know, quite a few books and I've got a whole, we've got a really broad product suite and we got online communities, mastermind and all, but they all relate back to that central message. That's what Dan Miller is all about. And I think if you can find that core message, you know, if you need to readjust in the first couple of years or whatever, sure. But you can't just keep jumping around and think that you can get a strong audience or build a strong business if people don't know what you're all about. Fire Nation, what is your one continuous core message? Does it just jump to the top of your mind? Is it at the tip of your tongue? Is it even exist for you? One continuous core message? Dan knows you need to have one. I know you need to have one. Dan has one. That's why I have such a strong brand. I have one. That's why I have such a strong brand. Like That's something you need to have at top of mind for you, for your audience. Top of mind, tip of your tongue, make that happen. And we have so much more value coming your way when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Have you ever considered running an e-commerce business, but feel you don't have the skill set or resources to make it happen? What if I told you that in less than 90 days, you can own a successful e-commerce dropship website loaded with top selling niche products that generates consistent income, minimum 10K, month after month. All this with no product inventory, technical knowledge, or employees to worry about. How? The Quantify Partner Program. The Quantify Partner Program allows you to benefit from their years of experience and success with no guesswork and your success and revenue is guaranteed. That's because with Quantify, your success equals their success, so they work tirelessly to meet and exceed your expectations. How do they do this? Quantify provides comprehensive training and support, a dedicated full-time partner success manager, proven, profitable, and guaranteed results, and so much more. If you're ready to acquire a real business that guarantees success and 10K in monthly revenue, apply to become a Quantify partner today. The Quantify partner program is not for everyone. To see if you qualify, visit Quantify dot com and click the apply button. If you qualify, Quantify will reach out with next steps. That's Q W A N T I F Y dot com. For a lot of us, our home is now more than just our home. For some of us, it has become a classroom for our kids, an office for our work, or a yoga studio for our workouts. If you're a business owner or a people manager, home might also be where you do your hiring, and that's where Zip Recruiter comes in. Zip Recruiter makes hiring faster and easier because you can do it all from one convenient place, ziprecruiter.com slash fire. No matter where you're hiring from, Zip Recruiter does the work for you. How? Zip Recruiter's matching technology scans thousands of resumes and profiles to identify the most qualified people for your job. If you're really interested in a candidate, you can even invite them to apply for your job with one click. Zip Recruiter sends them an email from you, helping you stand out from the competition. It's no wonder that four out of five employers who post on Zip Recruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And right now, you can try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. All you need is Wi-Fi to try it for free. Visit ziprecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. So Dan, we're back and you know Fire Nation. I mean, one thing that I'm so honored by is every now and then I get an email from you when you've listened to a podcast on your treadmill or when you're working out and you're like, oh, I really had this great takeaway. And I'm like, oh my God, Dan Miller listens to my podcast. Like I've always loved those emails. So thank you for that. But so you know my audience is my point that was a lot of people in Fire Nation are getting started or they're trying to get traction or they're starting over, they're hitting the reset button or they're trying something new. How can our listeners get traction in a timely manner? You know, we, we see so many people getting into, the, especially into the year entrepreneurial space and they want the kind of success, you know, that John Lee Dumas has had or Michael Hyatt or Dave Ramsey or somebody immediately. Well, it doesn't happen like that. But the way you start getting traction is to build those relationships, go to conferences, connect with people. If you want to get next to somebody who's an influencer, buy their products, buy their books, buy their seminar, buy their course, show up, get involved. I've done that 
from the very beginning, you know, in the early days, I didn't have two nickels to rub together. And I reached out to people like Brian Tracy and Tommy Hopkins and Zig Ziglar and said, hey, I know you're going to come to Nashville for a big success seminar. My wife and I want to help you out. We want to help you sell product. We know how to do this. We know how to engage with people. We can help you sell product. You know, I don't think I ever had anybody say no. We did that over and over again where we got free access to the event. I usually had, we're given free product as a result of being there. And we just got next to those people. And then I became friends with those people over time. I just had Mark Victor Hansen, the co- co-author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, on. I just interviewed him on my podcast a couple of weeks ago. I went to his conference about well, it was in 2002, so 18 years ago. Went to his conference. I went repeatedly. Got to know him. Got to be on stage with him. We become friends. We promote each other's things back and forth. That's the kind of thing you need to do. Now, that's not instantaneous, but it's very doable for anybody. But a lot of people want to be successful just in a silo. You know, they don't want to have to make the effort to reach out, engage, or connect with. They just want to, you know, somehow be vertical in their success, and it just doesn't happen. I mean, nobody's successful on their own. You got to build those relationships. John, I usually see you about twice a year, you and Kate, at conferences yeah. that we go to that are in common. I go to those conferences not to learn more new information. Information is easy to get. But I can't hug John, John Lee and Kate <laughs> around the neck, you know, when I'm just looking online. I go for that purpose and that purpose only. And I love that. And actually, most recently, the conference that we were at, we actually had dinner together. I mean, it was a great time. We got to sit down, break bread together. It was just the four of us, too. And I mean, so we got to have some quality conversation, you know, over, you know, not just like a 15 minute hello, but like a 45 minutes, you know, to an hour like meal that we were able to share. And this is stuff that's so important and goes in, you know, such a long ways, Fire Nation. You need to realize there's a reason I end every Entrepreneurs on Fire episode with the Jim Rohn phrase, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with because it's true. Like right now, you're listening to myself and Dan. You're hanging out with us. Your average is awesome right now. Like I'm not trying to sound egotistical. It's just true. Like we're really cool people. (laughs) I mean, I can tell you we're cool people in the business world and we're cool people on the dance floor. That's just a fact. It really is. You're the average Fire Nation of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are your five? Who are you surrounding yourself with? And sometimes you've got to make some tough decisions. Sometimes you've got to look and say, hey, number two and four are, are Debbie Downers or Donnie Doolittles. And I'm not saying never talk to them again, but they can't be in your top five. They've got to be bumped down that list and you've got to start doing things like Dan did back in the day. Surround yourself with the right people by being proactive, going out to conferences, to meetups, to gatherings where you know these people exist. That's actually one reason I moved from Maine to San Diego. And it's kind of a quick, funny story that you know is, involves you, Dan, is the day I moved to San Diego, I talked about it like on my podcast and Dan reached out to me and said, Don't, John, like I want to talk about your move from Maine to San Diego on, on my podcast. And I was like, oh my God, that'd be fantastic. Like, what do you need from me? Yada, yada. So that was like super cool that you recognized why I was making that move from a little town in Maine to an entrepreneurial haven of San Diego. And it worked out so well for me for four years. And, you know, now I'm in a very similar type of community down in Puerto Rico in this place, Palmas Del Mar. And doing those type of things. And Dan, if I'm being honest, this is going to sound to Fire Nation like a trick question, but I need Fire Nation to hear it from you. Do all entrepreneurs get rich? Do all entrepreneurs get rich? Man, I love the question. (laughs) Love the setup. I grew up, as I mentioned, you know, very, very poor. In a given day, it's humbling to me today to realize that I make more money than my dad ever made in a year. I mean, that times have changed. There's no question about it. But the opportunities that I've had have been pretty astounding. But what I really value is the relationships that I've developed, the people I get to hang out with. That's where my wealth is. The kind of people I get to hang around. You better believe it. You know, the five people you hang out with. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, Dr. Phil McGraw says we all have 10 defining moments in our life. Five pivotal people, five pivotal people. You know, when I think back, well, I've had those. I mean, I, I have. I became friends with Dave Ramsey 30 years ago. We were broke, 
both absolutely broke. I mean, we cried together and tried to figure out what we were going to do when we grew up. <laughs> and we, we kind of figured those things uh, out. You guys have grown up, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but that friendship has remained incredibly strong. You know, Dave is one of those. I have, I have John, I've never talked to you about this. I have a 3 a.m. list. Mm. I have a list of people that I know I could call at 3 a.m. in the morning. They'd take the call, and if I needed $10,000, that was another one of the criteria I put in there, that they would give it to me without any questions asked. I have a list. Now, here's, here's how I put that list together. I think you ought to have a list like that of people that are that, now I don't, I don't want to make it just about money. I mean, you could have on there, you know, 10 bucks if you want. I don't care about that. We're not making it about that. But somebody you know that would come to your aid in whatever way they could if you called them at 3 a.m. Unfortunately, there are people who don't have anybody. I think you ought to have at least equal to your age number on that list, at least equal to your age. So that's a pretty easy kind of parameter. That many people. I think if you do that, I think if you really have those kind of connections, you are a rich person just by definition, by the way I described it. That is worth more to me than what I have in a financial portfolio, knowing that I have people that I can reach out to. I mean, what are the chances that I'm ever going to be homeless or that John Lee is ever going to be homeless? It's not going to happen. I, have, I could have 20 places to stay for the next month if I needed to in a heartbeat. Boy, if you are operating, now, but here's where it comes back to then. Are all entrepreneurs rich? Being an entrepreneur requires a mindset that we're talking about. If you have the mindset to connect with other people who are on the same path, if you have a mindset to see opportunities where other people don't, if you have a mindset to take action when other people are sitting on their haunches hoping things get back to normal, if you have that, all that, you're going to end up with resources that are so readily available to you, it's mind-boggling. And in that case, yes, I think a true entrepreneur is going to be rich in the way that I defined it. Fire Nation, I can second that, that Dan will never be homeless. In fact, I can't even get him to come and spend a week with me and Kate down here in Puerto Rico, even though I have the nicest guest room in all of Puerto Rico. So this guy, believe me, he's got plenty of options, plenty of opportunities. And I said it was a trick question before because I knew how Dan was going to, I had I had a guess on the direction he was going to take that. And it's so true, Fire Nation, is like rich doesn't just mean money money all the time. It doesn't just mean finance and financials. It can just mean the people you're surrounded with, like the family, the friends, the, you know, the experiences, the network you develop. There's so many different ways to look at this. And Dan, you've shared so much value with us today. Talk a little bit as we sign off here about your update to 48 Days to the Work You Love. I mean, you've been updating this every five years now for the past 20 years since you published it. Now it's 2020. And hey, like, let's go. This is the time to, to do another update. So break it down for us. In looking at the book, the book came out early this year. In light of what happened this year that we couldn't have anticipated and certainly was not known when I wrote the content for the book, you know, it makes me look like a genius because I addressed <laughs> all these ways to take advantage of unexpected change that comes along. You know, how to build a side business with only 15 hours a week. You know, how to tap into your unique zone of genius so you can set apart and be not vulnerable to no matter what the changes were. So I, I love that. And here, here's the thing, too. Since I've set this pattern to update it every five years, I already have pages and pages of notes about what I want to include in the 2025 version. So we're getting ready for that already. But having a lot of fun with this, it continues to be my core message. Hey, we made a really cool landing page to give people access to some of the content, John. Yeah, let's do it. So we set up a unique page, and it's very simple, 48days.com slash fire. Easy to remember, 48days.com slash fire. People get access to the first chapter. There's a really cool quiz in there about how close are you to living your very best life. It'll give you a percentage, you know, 87%, eh, 58, eh, you know, you got some room to improve, but it's really fun thing to go through. My team put together, I'm really proud of that. So there's that and some other bonuses there that connect to the content. But yeah, I'll just go to 48days.com slash fire to see what we offer. Friends of John Lee Dumas, my friend. Boo! 
yeah. And Fire Nation, let's be honest. There are few human beings that exist in the world that have the kind of unbelievable and proven track record that Dan Miller has. You know, over the past 20 plus years, what he's been doing with thousands and thousands of people. And it's just exciting to see him continue to evolve and do amazing things. So Fire Nation, as I prefaced earlier in this episode, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you've been hanging out with DM and JLD today, so keep up that heat. And if you head over to eofire.com and type Dan in the search bar, every episode we've done together, and there's now been four, will pop right up. These are the best show notes in the biz, and every one of those episodes that I just mentioned are straight gold. So listen to those. Go on a little Dan Miller entrepreneurs on fire binge. You won't regret it. Of course, your direct call to action, 48days.com slash fire. 48days.com slash fire. Go see what Dan has cooked up for you, Fire Nation. And Dan, I just want to say thank you, brother, for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we will catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's value bombs were brought to you by Dan. And if you've ever thought about creating a podcast of your own, the podcast journal is for you. It is a gorgeous full leather journal that's going to guide you step by step in creating and launching your podcast in 50 days. Visit thepodcastjournal.com. Use promo code podcast for a nice $15 discount as a thank you for listening to my podcast. And I'll catch you there or I'll catch you on the flip side. Fire Nation, what if you could run an e-commerce business with no tech experience or employees and generate 10K or more each month? Today's sponsor, Quantify, is doing just that. Quantify guarantees your success and revenue with complete end-to-end training and support. Apply for their partner program today at quantify.com. Hiring is challenging, especially with everything else you have to consider today, but there's one place where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. That place is ZipRecruiter. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire.